Hi, 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 Felting fans. I'm back. And today we're making another dog. So it's been a while since I made a video and that is because I've been crazy busy with my photography life and also because I was making a stop motion uh, music video. I had to felt five little ducks and a whole pond and then I animated a song. Um, so unfortunately I cannot share that anytime soon because the songwriter just got some great news but what it means is that she had to push the album until a early summer release. So check back in June, but for now I'm going to make a felted dog. Not just any dog, Phoebe, my sister's dog. Okay, I think I'm going to use this wire. Just got a little loose bunch of it, so I'm going to use this for my dog. And I don't want my dog to be huge. It's going to wing it. I haven't made one in so long. Let's let this be the body. It's already too big, I think. Okay, I've cut it now that piece in half and I'm matching another one. These will be my oops, legs and body, I think. So here we go. I'm gonna make this head, the tail, this head. I don't want it to be too small now. I think that's good to start. I'm going to take a little bit of coral to join it in and then use it to attach the legs. If I can remember how I did that, I think I'm just going to wind it all like this first. All inside and everything. Then, make like a little wool knot to tack it all together. Stop. Okay, I have both the legs tacked on here now with a clump of wool and I'm gonna start pulling off little strips of core wool like this and just winding it. I start pack it on here Ow. to get it started and then wind like this to start having like a base to put other stuff on. And for this one the ends I go a little bit over if possible, so I can tack them down. Go like this. It's getting maybe a little thick already. That's okay. And then I'm going to do that for the whole body until I can't see the wires anymore. And then I just do this, like wind it around here to anchor it like this and then stab it in secure it and then at the end it's actually pretty tight already <clears throat> this is a little bit big and i love that but i'll maybe do this a little bit i'll fix it 
I get the idea. Okay, now I have all of the wire covered in core wool and I'm just gonna keep wrapping mostly the body because Phoebe, the dog I am making, is a fat little fatty. So I'm gonna just keep wrapping now, tack it on a little bit and then wrap. Um, I think this will be the back legs. This will be the front legs. But for now, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep wrapping and make her a little fatter. So I've decided this is the rear and this is gonna be the front. So I'm trying to add some fat thighs here to the back, little fat thighs. And then I'm gonna add like a little bit more here as a chest. And then once I put the chest on, I think I want my dog to be sitting. So we'll figure out the leg position and then we'll continue and add a head and stuff like that. So adding a chest. I think it needs a little more. We'll add more as we go, obviously, but kind of easy in this state when the legs are all splayed out just to wind the core wall around. Okay, so now front legs, there's the chest like that. The little legs like this. And then back legs. What do back legs do? I haven't made back legs in so long. I gotta look it up. Right, so I'm just gonna fill this in with a bunch of wool because her back goes like this for so to fill the back in I'm just gonna start stuffing a bunch of wool on there and to fill it in until I like the shape. So Phoebe is a real fatty. I gotta make her chest real fat because she is a chubby girl. So I'm just gonna wrap the wool like this and just keep, I gotta give her like big fat chest. I'm gonna do another one while I'm at it because I know she's gonna need it. I'm gonna wind that around and then punch it in. So clearly it's been a long time for me and looking at pictures of Phoebe, I see her legs are way longer. So I'm twisting some, what is this called? Pipe cleaner into the shape of her legs so that they are longer and then I'll cover them with wool and we'll do the other one too. But see how short they, I made them relative to her body? So this is what happens when you wing it. You get it wrong. I got it wrong. All right, I had to add pipe cleaner to all the legs because they were all too short. So I'm gonna wrap these next and go from there. All right, so I have done everything wrong here. Um, I'm adding pipe cleaner to his head too. And what I've been doing is just twisting it like this. I twisted it around the initial little wire and then I'm doing like this to make it kind of thicker. I wanted to make a little dog, but then the proportions were all wrong. And this happens to me a lot. I wing it and then I end up paying for it later. We need to learn how to proportion things out. That will be a skill for another time. For now, I've got this. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of wool because she's got a pretty fat neck. She's a fat fatty, little skinny legs. So we gotta add a lot to her. So I'm gonna wrap it around tighter than this and then keep going. See here, okay, so I have shaped the head. Phoebe has like little bumps. Most dogs do have the little round, you know, socket for their eyes. And I actually put the eyeballs in and I forgot that I didn't put it in the video, so I'm gonna redo it. But basically, make the little round balls like this on their head. 
with the eye sockets. Can you see that? First, I take a uh, very heavy needle and right in the center of one, poke a hole in the other. And I take an owl, poke like this for one eye. And poke for the other eye. Make sure they're even. And then I have clear glue, tacky glue I really like. I'm gonna take this guy halfway out, put some glue in there. And then same with the other eye. I might take a break and let this dry and work on it again tomorrow. Harl. So I've made his neck thicker, her neck thicker. Can you see? I'm just basing her body on a picture that my sister sent me. And right now she looks like a lizard. I'm going to twist her eyes so that it looks like she's looking at me. This one looks like it's not right. There. What do you think? What? So Phoebe has a lot of black on her and I have this carded black that it's make it really easy to cover. So I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna pull off a little bit of this and just start covering her. So many bloops and bleeps over there in the background. So that cover up all the core wool first and then we'll start adding in white and brown to match her pattern. But first we'll do mostly the black. Okay, so I've put black carded wool all along her back and top of her tail, all the parts where she's just completely black. But then on here, it gets really blended in. So I have other carded wool that's sort of close to the color that she is. This one, this one, it's kind of like in the middle somehow. So I was thinking I might take a little of this and a little of this and the black. I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it and kind of mix them all together. I probably need more black. Well, I don't know, let's see, kind of like this and then put it in, see what it looks like. It might not look great. Uh, now I'm mixing it up. I feel like it's too of that like darker brown. I, I like this sort of more orangey brown. I'm recording. This, mix it in. There's a little blob there now, mix the color. And now, let me look at this side of her leg, how it looks kind of blended in. And then I was gonna put this on this blended way. And the parts of her leg that has orange until I get to her feet, which are all orange, not orange, brown, whatever this is. I don't know if I love this. I might have to experiment a little bit more. And I was thinking using just the straight brown for her legs and wrap her legs like this. And then the tips will be white. Um, so the back of her neck and the back of her ears is very much this sort of blended 
brown and black. I feel like there's more brown than black. So I'm just really blending, blending, blending this black in with the brown like this. It's like really mixed. And then I'm going to tack that on here. And when I do her ears, we'll use this blended stuff to make them. And I'll show you that in a second. But for now, I'm just kind of doing it all rough, like roughly where it's brown and roughly where it's black and roughly where it's mixed. And then I can go back later and refine it if I need to. But um, I'm not trying to make an exact replica. I just want so that when you look at her, it's obvious who she is, but she doesn't look like a mini taxidermied dog. It's just, you know, like a cute version. So all the fur around her eyes is this brownie color. So I'm going to just start putting a lot of this brown. She does have some black in there, but I'm going to add that later over this. So for now, I'm going to make it all a brown color and actually cover up her eyeballs with it. It makes it easier to create um, lids later if you actually cover up the eyeballs. So I don't want any of that that has black in it. I'm going to take my two browns that I've been mixing and mix a little more of them just like this kind of a bunch of really thick brownie brown and plop that right on her face right over her eyes and then later what we'll do the the black and her ears but for now i want this to create the brown on her face and her eyelids. Her nose has some black and it has some white, so we'll add that stuff later. For now, we're doing just brown, tacking it all in. And I'll show you how I do the eyeballs in a second. So I'm going to do this a bunch more times, but just to get, show you, once the eye, eyes are all covered up, then I usually cut here, like right above where they are, and then start doing this, like pushing them around her eyes. And the truth is she has some dark around her eyes too, so I'll add that. But just to start doing eyelids, we kind of do like this. See that? Don't you focus? I think so. And then her eyes start to come out here. And I'll do it a couple of times so that really makes her eyes look like they're in there like part of her little face okay um so i poked her eyes you know like a little bit of away from the i mean the felt away from her eyes to create a little bit of an eyelid but see how you can still see the white i need to do it again we need more and i kind of like this orangier one more than this browner one so i'm going to Make it a little more heavy on that, a little less heavy on that. Blend them up and put a, put another round on over her eyes and then work on the ears. And once the ears are in place, then I'm gonna work on the actual little pattern above her head because there's some black on her head that is not here yet. So just stuffing this in, like this, and again, right over her eyes. I find that to just be the easiest and work the best, making eyelids. Ow! So I am working hard to keep this little ridge here. See the little boom, boom? So I tend to felt that a little bit more tightly because I want to keep that little shape. There little face can you see and now I'm gonna find the eyeballs in there there they are and then again felting
getting her eyebrows. We'll add more later. I think eyebrows are what make the dog super cute. I can make or break them, so we work on the eyebrows a lot later toward the end. But for now, we're just, you know, starting to make a little eye socket. How cute. See? Well, it's getting there. It still looks like a lizard. Okay, so I have this awesome felting machine, and I'm going to add three needles. Mine comes with three needles. Just want to make sure they're all the same size. And this one's crooked. I don't want that guy. And we're going to make the ears. I like using my felting machine to make the ears. And I will show you how I do that in just one second. There, there's three. Those three don't look the same. This one doesn't match. Who matches? This guy. Okay. So Phoebe's ears are mostly brown with the littlest bit of black in them. So I'm taking like a tiny bit of black, but mostly this brown, a little of this brown as well, and blending it all together like this. Just to make a mix. And then I'm going to use my awesome felting machine to make her ears. Let's see, do these kind of want two matching piles here. One for one ear and one for another ear. So the same kind of the same amount of wool and the same sort of black to brown mixed up look. What do we think? This one seems to have a little more black in it. I don't think it has to be perfect. No dog's gonna look exactly the same, both ears, but we just want it to be similar. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a rough sense of how big they should be now. Her ears are pretty big. Maybe like this. Okay, for this, I'm actually gonna get an old sheet put the sheet down and then put my ears on top of the sheet because they're going to be really thin and it's much easier to get them off of a sheet than it is to get them off of the wool um, pad. So first, first what I think I'll do is kind of get the rough shape here of a triangle. And I'll get this guy, also a rough shape of a triangle. Can I match that rough shape? What do we think? I always tend to make my ears a little too big. So hopefully, I, mean, I can always cut them, I guess. I need to learn. This one seems wider than that. Okay, now I'm gonna see what this take them. Then I would I do as I pull this up like that. See, it makes taking it off much easier. But see, they're really thin still. I'm gonna have to add a lot more. I don't know if the felting machine did much. Ugh. I think they're probably a little big anyway. This one's better than this one. So we'll flip them over. 
kind of just do the same thing and I'll let you see how they turn out. Okay, just like I'm reshaping them a little bit by pulling them in like this. I think they were a little too big, so I'm kind of pulling them in like this, making my little triangles. This one looks a lot smaller than this one to me. And here, Oscar up there. Then again, I'm going to try my well, felting machine, see if I can get them to be a little more solid. I don't know, it seems to feel better to me. Let's find out. This guy's not the right shape. Sometimes just using one needle is actually way easier than a machine. But I want a reason to use it. Ah, here we go. See, it's getting better. It's still really thin. But I have a habit of making them way too thick, so I don't want to do that. So the outside of her ears are much more black than the inside. So I'm going to pick this side that seems to have more black on it. I think it's that side for that one and this side. So on the inside, I'm going to add just a little bit more of this brown so that the inside is a little different than the outside. And then I'm going to make them real flat before I put them on. So I'll share with that with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm kind of tucking the ends in like this. Make them as sharp as I can, except for this part. I don't, I don't want those tucked in. And then I have, uh, I match them, are they the same size? They are pretty close in size and thickness. I have a straightening iron here, it's just a regular one. And I hold the fluff and I just go like really fast because I don't want them super thin, but just smooth. You know, it helps smooth them out. Another, this one's a little bit fatter. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is trim the edges so that they're a little smoother and straight. So now it's like real flat and straight. Same with this edge, except for that third edge. I'm gonna leave that fluffy. So I have something to attach to the dog. And what do we think? Are they about the same size? They seem to be. This one's maybe a little bit bigger. There. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Um, find the one, this one has the more black on it. Her ears are kind of back here. So I'm gonna do this kind of like this, stick them this way and use the fluffy edge that we left, tack them in. And then I tend to like, kind of do like this. So see, it has like that little, looks like an ear more to me. And you kind of do like that. I'm looking at the picture of her and her ears actually farther down there, I think. More like that. Her ears are kind of big for such a little dog. And then where's my other ear? Uh -oh. Okay, doing the same thing now for this ear. Kind of just start by tacking it in where the fluff is. And then putting the Kind of shaping it like this. Like that. Tuck it in. Oops. 
see what we think. Is it kind of close? I think so. We're getting there. So I just put a bunch of brown here on her leg and on her face a little more. And I'm noticing her, like this, her nose is too short and there's not enough of her head here. So I need to add more. So she has black, like a black line of stuff. But I think what I want to do, I'm going to put this in here to build her head up a little bit. And then I'll add the black line that is on her head. Hopefully this will also help her ears be in a more of a, like, different place. They kind of seem like they're a little farther back on her head than I put them. I think she just needs a bigger head and a bigger nose. And the nose, I'm going to add white to the end of it to make it longer. So I'm stuffing this in here, tacking it in, keeping that little line down the center of her head like that. So I think for sure that's, make sure this is in focus. I feel like a lot of this is out of focus. It's hard to tell with this little overhead camera thing sometimes, but I'm trying. Okay, that actually helps push her ears back a bit. And then we'll work on making her nose. Her nose is, I think, too short. I got some carded white and I wanna, I added some black to the end of her nose, but now that I'm gonna make her nose longer, I think I'm gonna pull that off and wrap it with white first. She has a white nose and it's longer than this. So we're gonna do like this, put the white on and just kind of wrap it around like that and build it up a little bit so that her nose is longer. getting there. Okay, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to add white to her legs. And when I do legs, I like to stick these little soft foamy things in between so that I can work on them. At, stab myself. I can work on them and not have them fold in. It gives like a little bit of support. So this way I can wrap the white around and make her leg a little thicker and also white cover the core wall. And then I put this in between and I have like a little base. All right, so I've covered up her eyes a bunch of times and made her little eyelids. And now I'm gonna use a little black because she has a lot of black around her eyes. I'm just gonna cover them up like this and stuff it all in there. And it makes it have like a little black ring around her eyes, which makes it look more like her. Hopefully, red might be too much. But you know what we could do is we'll do this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Like heavy eyeliner, kind of. And then I'll do the other one. We'll see if I can get them to match. So I added some black to her head like this to match the pattern on her. And I wanna, I put some more brown over here so that her eyes don't look like they have serious eyeliner, just look like her eyes. I might add a little more to her eyebrows soon, but now I wanna do her nose. So I have two noses. One is big like this and one's a little smaller. I think maybe the bigger one is better. So I'm gonna take a heavy duty needle and kind of poke right there a little bit, a little bit of a dent. And then look at that guy and see. Looks right. Is that too big? I think it's good. I'm gonna take some glue and glue it in. And we'll see. Now she doesn't look like a lizard anymore at all. Okay, so a couple of things I have to do is add a little white stripe to her head. She's a tiny little white stripe right here. I can add that in. 
て。A little bit off to the sides like that not quite down the center and then on the, for her little mouth we take a little tiny bit of black and I roll it this lightly and then I'm gonna add like a little mouth for her And I like to make it like she's smiling a little bit. See? Little smile. Pull it around to the side. Not long enough. And this isn't quite glued in yet. Tiny bit more. Like that. And then I'm going to add tiny little bit right there in the center. I need to let this dry. Not dry, so. Okay, so I'm going to add some carded pink to her tummy. That's her tummy's pink. And I added a little black over here because she has a little black spot on her tummy just to add some details that make it more, look more like her. So putting some finishing touches on her, I'm taking the darker brown really, really, really faintly and just tacking it on to her back a little bit because her back is mostly black, but has like a little tiny, tiny bit of brown and I want to make it look like this blends better. So it's basically like put it on there and then tack it in super lightly and that's it. See how it makes it blend better? Looks more like her real fur. Um, she also has little black whiskers spots on her face. So again, I'm going to take just this tiniest bit of black and put it right here. Just poke it into her face. So see how it makes it look like whiskers or little, little whisker spots. Just kind of roughly doing that. It looks And do it to the other side. Then I'm just gonna trim it. So kind of all that's left are the little spots. Generally speaking, anyway. Cute. Okay. Um. So truthfully, this is about what I'm capable of. I don't know that it looks exactly like Phoebe, but. Good enough that I think my niece will love her and know who it is. So that's all I can hope for at this stage in my career. But uh, I also am going to add little pads to her feet so that she looks like she has little feet. So usually to do that, I just take a tiny, tiny bit of black and I punch it in like this. Make like little balls at the bottom of her feet like this. A little circle and stick it in. Then this first one is big and then I add little small ones around the top of it in the same manner. Like this. Add a little bit of a blob. This is probably too much. It's just the littlest bit. And I usually start in the center like that. And then I, I know real dogs have four pads, but I can almost always only fit three. So I put three. It is just a toy after all. I can feel that pipe cleaner in there. That is not making it very easy, but I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so she had little pink paws a mix of pink and black, so I did this. 
cute, huh? So really the only thing left for me to do is to make her a little collar and she has a red collar. So I'm gonna make her collar red. And if you wanna see how I make my collars, there's actually another video all about that. And I'll link to that and you can see it. Thank you for joining me today to make a felted Phoebe. I think she turned out super cute and I'm so happy that you joined me today.